couple of days ago, a dude hit me up and said, hey man, I got a technical interview coming up. What should I do? I feel completely unprepared. He was going from a warehouse job for like a six figure job working at some company I'd never heard of in some state that you fly over. And I told him the same advice that I'm gonna tell you here. One, if you're going into a technical interview, you absolutely, 100% must ask the person, what is the nature of this interview? Behavioral, technical, if so, should I be prepared or something like that? Don't walk in blind, completely like, what's gonna happen and just expect the best. You're setting yourself up for failure, my friend. So one of the things I like to do is off the bat, I'm going on to Glassdoor, which is by far and away my favorite site to try to hack the interview. I look for questions related to the position which I'm interviewing for. I recently interviewed at Gusto for an engineering manager position. Now, ethically, I'm not gonna tell you if any of these experiences or interviews actually were the question that I got, but I will tell you that I have seen it on here. I won't tell you which one though, but it absolutely is on here. Now, the purpose of doing this exercise is not to find the exact question, right? It's to decrease the surface area for your studying. Because if you don't know what to study, it could be anything, system design, DSA, a practical example, just talking about stuff. So you don't wanna come in completely blind, right? You wanna to go to a site like this and say, okay, here's the types of questions they ask, and now I can kind of identify and strategize and decrease that surface area. Speaking of going in blind, this site, super spicy site, full of toxic tech bros, teamblind.com. This is a site that I suggest you actually go on if you're interviewing for one of the big companies out there like Meta, Apple, Netflix, Google. Any big company in the top 100 is likely gonna have a lot of information on here. So this person posted on here, Meta Gen AI system design interview. Tons of people looked at this one. <laughs> Got some funny comments on here. This is a toxic site because people on here are anonymous. They work for big tech. They're really mean nerds on here. They have a very famous phrase, T-C-O-G-T-F-O. -O, total comp or get the F out. Basically, how much is your total compensation? Because if it's not as big as mine or if it's low or you work at some no-name company, then your opinion doesn't matter. You're less of a human being. Get the F out of here. Great people, right? Great people. But one thing is they are anonymous, so they will tell you stuff that they probably shouldn't. This site is much less ethical to use. It's also good for referrals because people on here are again anonymous and they just want to make money and they don't really care this is probably a really bad trend i think there's a lot of really bad and negative things about this site but i'm just keeping it real if i want to win the game i'm going everywhere that i can gather information and i'm getting that information and i'm using it in my strategy to try to win the game of the interview right so why would you not want to do that and lastly this one is actually for how to pass the technical interview because knowing this information can help you strategize and plot and plan, but what good is it if you don't have the actual experience and the ability to interview well, but how do you get that? You could interview with like your brother or sister or mother or something like that. Remember back in the days, people used to say, oh, just do a mock interview with your mom at the kitchen table. Nah, this won't work in tech, right? Don't do that. What you wanna do is be on the spot with a stranger doing a very technical walkthrough with somebody that will look at what you're saying and doing and tell you whether you're doing it right or wrong or give you some feedback. Basically, somebody that puts you on the spot and gives you that same, you know, puts that fire under you like you're gonna feel in an interview. And Pramp, which I'm not sponsored by at all, 120% not sponsored, even though they probably should because I tell everybody to use this. Even at Parsity, we tell all the mentees to get an account on Pramp. And you can see, I'm not just talking about it. I like using this site. I've used it since 2021. I sucked at system design interviews and I still kind of do, but it's one of the things I want to get better at. And one of the last ones I did here was the system design interview on April 15th. And then a week later, I did algorithms on April 22nd. The reason why I like Pramp so much is one, it's free. Two, you get to interact with somebody you don't know, which gives you a lot more incentive to try to do well, or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. To me, I feel more pressure with somebody I don't know. I'm like, oh man, Maybe this person's really smart. Maybe they're like a senior engineer at Amazon or something like that. I better show up with my A game here. But most importantly, because they're anonymous, it mimics what you're going to experience in a real interview, right? So don't wait till your real interview to be the first time you experienced what it's like to be in a real interview because your nerves are going to eat you up just as much as actually coding and walking through your thought process. So getting feedback, doing like one to five interviews on here, I mean, the more the better, in my opinion. You want to make these boring. Right, Because then when you walk into a real interview, when your nerves are 
could be this high. Now they're a little bit lower or a lot lower because you've made something that's novel and unique, not unique. Think about this. If you went skydiving every single day, it'd be pretty boring. But that first day, it would freak you out. After the hundredth time, it's going to be like, whatever. Same thing with interviewing. You do this like 10 times in a month. The next time you do it, you're like, whatever. I'm not even tripping anymore. Now your nerves are a lot more soothed and settled. So that way you walk in there and give your best. So to wrap up, one, you got to ask. Just ask somebody. Say, hey, what are we going to interview on? Not a weird question at all. I mean, if they don't tell you, that's kind of weird in my opinion. Don't worry about it. Just show up and we'll go from there. Now, nah. go to Glassdoor, go to Team Blind, practice on Pramp, do your best, and I guarantee you, you're going to have a much better chance. I've done over 100 interviews. I just spoke to a young man last night. He emailed me actually this morning and said, hey, I got the job. He took the same advice too. We have all our mentees do this. I do this. I know a little bit about interviewing over the years. I'm not some interview expert. I can just tell you what's worked for me and what's worked for others. So hopefully that'll work for you and help you out. If you're interested in changing careers and you want a custom plan as a career changer, because it's way different learning to code and change careers in your 30s and 40s than it is when you're 18 and fresh out of school living with your mom, right? If you want a plan, you want to work with my team, join us at parsity.io slash inner dash circle, and I'll see you around. Hope that was helpful as usual.